Wrath of the Lich King Classic brought many new pets to the game, some of them easier to get than others, and some that are nearly impossible to get. Today, we're going to take a look at how to acquire the rarest pet in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. This pet is one that is earned through an achievement, but isn't even listed as an achievement award, so many players might not even know how to get it or that it even exists. And because it's so hard to get, players may never even learn of its existence. But why is this pet so hard to get? Well, it's because it's not only based on a single spawn timer, but eight spawn timers across eight locations, and the spawns share a cooldown with other useless spawns, and you thought the time loss proto drake was hard to get. This means that even if you're in the right place at the right time, there's a chance you don't get what you were looking for, and when you do get it, you need to do it seven more times. By now you must be wondering, what's the pet? We are talking about none other than the Kirin Tor Familiar. This shrunken arcane construct resembles the Warlock's Voidwalker, but with a bright arcane glow instead of shadow, and it's definitely a bit shorter. This pet is earned from completing the excruciatingly hard Higher Learning Achievement, which rewards the item the Schools of Arcane Magic Mastery. But it doesn't end there. You need to use the book to teleport yourself up to the Purple Parlor, talk to Archmage Vargoth, and complete a short dialogue, which finally ends with being rewarded the coveted Kirin Tor Familiar pet. Easier said than done, though, like we said in the beginning. There is a ton of luck involved on top of being in the right place at the right time. Now, the eight locations we talked about earlier are the eight spawn points within Dalaran where the books spawn, which are needed to be read in order to complete the achievement. The catch is that these books vanish into thin air three minutes after being read and only spawn every three to four hours. On top of that, the book spawns aren't always the one for the achievement. You could just get some random, worthless book detailing the dangers of blink or summoning portals or other magical nonsense, and then you have to wait another three to four hours for another chance at it. But there are strategies you can use to increase your chances of getting this pet. Now, first things first, you're going to need to know where to look. The first book, Introduction, can be found in the teleportation room in Dalaran. It spawns next to the ground, next to the bookcase on the northeast side, right on your right when you enter. Now, the second book, Abjuration, spawns on the floor of the Dalaran Visitor Center, next to the coffee stand. I think that's a coffee stand. Footrest? Thing? Not sure. Now, the third book, Conjuration, is found on the first floor of the Violet Citadel. Again, on your right as you enter, on the bottom shelf of the bookcase on the left. And the fourth book, Divination, is found on the second floor of the Violet Citadel, spawning between the two bookcases near the portal to the Caverns of Time. It's funny, we've all probably walked by some of these books just sitting there without thinking to check for it. Finally, the fifth book, Enchantment, is found on the balcony inside the Threads of Fate store. It's found on top of a small box on your right when you enter. The sixth book, Illusion, is found next to the Heroic Daily Quest Giver, which awards emblems of heroism and the Commendation badges, right on top of the box on the left. The seventh book, Necromancy, is found on the second floor of the Legerdemain Lounge, on the middle shelf of the empty bookcase. And finally, the final book, the last book, Transmutation, is found on the first floor of the Legerdemain Lounge, on the middle shelf of the empty bookcases near that wood stove. Now that you know where they spawn, the next step is figuring out a route to check to see if they're there. Now, personally, I like to start at the teleportation room, then the heroic quest giver spawn, then to the visitor center, then to the violet citadel, followed by the threads of fate balcony, jumping off there and finally ending at the ledger domain lounge. From there, just head back east to the teleportation room for another round, rinse and repeat. Now, when you see a book spawn, it's important to read it and mark when it despawns so you can come back in three hours, unless it was the book you were looking for. If it was the achievement book, just cross it off your list and you don't have to come back to this location. But if it wasn't, then make sure to mark your calendar or set a timer to come back to that exact spot in three hours. I saw it work like a charm. I came back three hours after I read the book and boom, the new book was there. It was the achievement book. I was like, this strategy works. Now, if you check every single spot and you didn't find a single book, you can also 
try changing your layer. It's not a bad strategy to just join looking for a group while sitting at a book spawn just to attempt to find that book before you go and run a dungeon once you get invited. I've had that work for me too. Very, very useful strategy. Now you can also use Mind Vision, Farsight, Sentry Totem, Eye of Killrog, Eyes of the Beast, and so on in order to scout around and try to find these books while you're standing in one location trying to check out another one. And another very helpful tip is that right after a server restart on Tuesday, every location is going to have a book. So try to find, try to be the first one there after restart and grab all the books. Even if you don't find the achievement book, you can set a timer for the respawn instead of not knowing when to check back again and being totally lost. And finally, the last tip is to group up. I joined the book club channel and let other players know when books spawn, so you could be helpful and try to do the same if you want. Join the channel, maybe someone will give you a heads up, invite you to the group, etc., so that you can go grab that book too. With enough patience and perseverance, the rarest pet in Wrath of the Lich King can be yours. But if you've already collected this item, then you're going to need to see this video here. It lists the top 33 rarest items in Wrath Classic Phase 1, so you can start working on collecting those. I'll see you in that video. Take care.